Okay, first of all, before we do the actual raid, I had to show you guys. This dude is hoarding horses in a base here. This is pretty freaking hilarious. There's like eight horses in here with trots. And somebody's calling in like four airdrops right now. Yo, somebody's calling in like 15 airdrops. All right, we must find this guy. He's living by the launch site. All right, I think we might have found the base. I still see some airdrops there. He didn't even get them all yet. This dude's online right now too. Wow, he's created some extreme lag. Just teleported around. Okay. I just got absolutely wrecked. I'm gonna go ahead and restart my computer and we'll be back with a different smaller raid. We'll have to save that base for like an end of the wipe raid or something. No way I'm raiding two guys on that big of a base with M2s online. So still on the road to saving up to raid one of those bunkers, either that one you just saw that called in like 15 airdrops at once or that bunker from yesterday's video. We've got three bases here. A, a stone bunker, kind of a tower looking base, and then this one with windmills. Now I think I found a loophole to raid this base here. As you can see, they have furnace attachments, but there is an armored double door there and two turrets guarding the top, except they're both looking out this way. So gonna ladder in over on that side sneak up behind the turrets, and then drop in there and raid it from that armored door. And just like that, we kind of pass two turrets. Let's see if we can get down. Okay, he's got traps in here too. As long as there aren't any turrets. Shotgun trap there. Um, this is actually kind of risky. Mm, I think we can make this. Yes, <laughs> totally dodged all these traps. Now if counters do actually come to this one, they're gonna have some trouble dropping down here, assuming these have ammo in them. Um, I don't really wanna check, so let's just go straight for this door. Hey guys, right before I start this raid, really quickly, for October, we're gonna be giving away a Razer Chroma Keyboard. You guys know the drill on how to win. For every hour played on any of my servers, you'll earn a ticket for the entry, plus one each for joining the Discord and Steam group. Nice, we're onto this pathway, they're missing a bunch of doors too. And someone's already here, dude, are you serious? Hope these shotgun traps have ammo in them. Thank you. 
Seems like a straight pass into the center. Got 10, 9c4 left. Um, is this like zigzagging around? Actually, I'm gonna send rockets here. Um, okay, well, we did damage this. Shotgun trap. Okay, I honestly think these are zigzagging all the way around. Gonna go straight into this wall. Yes, let's go. No, but there's a workbench there. That looks like it could be TC. We still have five rockets. Sleeper down. Dang, this workbench is gonna be super annoying. TC's right there, bro. All right. This should kill TC and workbench. Oh, never mind. Gonna have to kill TC. I'm totally out of stuff to do it. Dude, are you kidding me, bro? Gonna need to find some explosive ammo here. All right, perfect, 42. And let's get this sealed up. That did end up taking a bit more than I thought, just because that door path like zigzagged around the TC. We did use what, like 19 C4? And 12 rockets, something like that. We're gonna need to see around the stack of sulfur here just to be even. And uh, what do we got? MGLs, no tech trash. Come on, bro. It comes down to the TC and these two furnaces. All right, we've got to see sulfur. No way, man. After all that, it's back to the drawing board. Totally lost out on 19 C4 and 12 rockets. So it's gonna come down to some farming if we're gonna look to raid one of those big bunkers by the end of the wipe. I have faith though, if we find a medium base, we can get some good profit. I guess I'll be seeing you guys, hopefully in tomorrow's video, if we can get a good medium base for profit. So I did come back here, I wasn't recording. I blew into this hard side sheet metal wall and check it out. We've got small boxes with 46k silver, so that's gonna pay off a little bit, but definitely not gonna be profit. Um, I'm just glad I was able to blow into there and get something. Was pretty lucky, it was a random guess. I was either gonna do this one, which just went to the furnaces, but this was actually hard side next to all these soft walls. So went ahead and gave it a shot, and it paid off.
Not so much of a loss on that one after finding this. 